I remember one time sitting here and I met with a family and the mother was just looking down at the table and she stopped me after I left the room and, and grabbed me and said that, you know, when you get back to the mortuary, can you hold my son's cheeks in your hand and tell him that his mother loves him? And things like that, that, that she's trusting me to be able to do something like that, it's, it's worthwhile. I am HM1 Jennifer Heiselman. And I am HM1 Whitslong. We're Navy liaisons at Dover Port Mortuary, also known as Air Force Mortuary Affairs Operations. Navy liaison is a well-rounded person that takes care of not only the uh, fallen uh, Marine or sailor, but also their families and everybody in the command that were to come here and uh, witness the dignified transfer. If we do have a death, um, we would welcome the family to Dover. We would secure their lodging. We we'll take care of them while they're here. Take them to the flight line. We have a, a brief that we go over with them, all the details of what they're going to expect. Brief our escorts and make flight arrangements, travel arrangements for the remains of the escorts. We would measure the fallen and choose the right uniform. Most of the time they go in their dress blues, um, both Navy and Marines, unless the family decides they want something different. Every Irish pin is snipped, we roll a new neckerchief, we press and steam the form, we get it tailored professionally, you know, we get the awards and decorations, make the ribbon right, and then we go back and do a final once-over inspection and uh, make sure that everything is just right. Everything has to be perfect, perfect. better than our uniforms. Perfect. So, because it's going to be their last uniform. It's, it's got to be right. I mean, it's got to be right. And if it's not right, then we need to fix it. And we do. We're trained for corpsmen duties, but we'll always be morticians. We're the only ones that in the Navy that know how to do this job. We can embalm, we can do restorative work, and we can make those arrangements that you know nobody else can do. And let me be clear, I don't want to do anything else with this. <laughs> Love it. Love it. There's not a day goes by that, you know, that I hate my job, that I dread going to work. You know, people going, but you're a funeral director. Yeah, I am. I love it. I'm proud to be here. This is a dream duty station uh, for any mortician. So much happens here, and you get to be a part of it. And to be able to bring fallen Marines and sailors home is, it's just... It's overwhelming. I make a difference. And to me, making a difference is very important. It's no corners are, are cut here. We take care of our own. We can't bring them back, but we do the best we can to help the family achieve the type of, and I hate the word closure, but it's the type of closure that allows them to grieve healthily and move on. You have to be strong and to be able to to hold up a father that's falling on the flight line and be able to be kind of a rock in those moments. So patience and the ability to, to just listen to people because um, really they just want to talk to you. I think you've got to be a compassionate person. You've got to be there for people that you don't know and people you may never see again. And you've got to help them through the most difficult thing in their life ever. And we help navigate that and we make it easier. If the unthinkable happens, we will take care of them. They trust us in that, and not just the service member, but their family members as, as well. And there may be only 12 of us, but we're gonna make sure that, that you're done right. You know, we're here 24 seven for active duty, for their dependents. Uh, no matter where you are in the world, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we will get you home with honor and dignity, care and respect.